Hey guys, so I'm here. I'm in Isaiah's room. He's sleeping. I just got back from my dad's house. He lives like 20 minutes away, 25. So that car ride, he was tired. So today's video is about Instagram. I always talk about how Instagram was one of my main things, my main tools I use during this journey. Um, I've always been a picture person. Like I have albums like my last semester undergrad, like my whole apartment room was just pictures that I got from the whole time I was in Albany then I made a collage like this is before Instagram like because I graduated undergrad in like 2008 so I've always been a picture person um, even though I did notice now whenever I go back on my Instagram to look for pictures to post in before and afters I noticed that a lot of my pictures before were always cropped in certain ways so I had to like go searching through my phone phone to like find the full picture but anyway, we're going to talk about Instagram. Um, I'm in a challenge if you guys watch my other videos. And I was speaking to um, one of the girls and that's also participating in the challenge. And she was just saying how she doesn't know how to use Instagram and the hashtags and then this. And how she should go on YouTube and find a video on how to use it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to make you one. So, this is for you. Um, I decided to shoot with my iPad to that. I could use because usually I record all my videos on my phone and I use this app called We Video to upload them like my daily vlogs. Um, but I want to show you Instagram as I talk about it and I also wrote notes about Instagram. So for all you people wondering about Instagram and losing weight, I want to show you how it helped me. So I wrote my notes down. So if you guys see me looking, looking down a lot is because I wrote them down in a notepad in my iPad and I couldn't use that because I'm recording on it so I copied it and emailed it to myself so I'm watching reading it on my phone and it's so much smaller than you know looking at it before and then looking at it now on the phone it's smaller but whatever it's gonna work because I need something to record on I need something to show you guys <laughs> It's like, okay, all right, all right, all right. Screen, okay. So we're going to start um, with Instagram. This, where's the camera? Oh, that's not Instagram. Sorry, guys. Okay. So this, can you see anything? We might have to turn the light off. I'm not sure because you're not going to be able to see it. Help. Can you see it? No. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> so that was a fail. <coughs> well, we can still talk like this. Okay. Now, you can't see what the screen says, but you can see the bottom, right? And right here is the home screen. What I'm going to have to do is basically put some screenshots in this video and then show you. But, damn. Yo, you know what I could do? Not make my phone so bright. Does that help? Okay. Right here is that home screen. It looks like a house. That's the home screen. When you press the home screen, you go to your news feed. Um... I'll also post these notes that I wrote on on my blog so you can read it, and I'll put pictures there, okay? That, that's what I'll do to make it better. It's going to be in my blog. I'll leave a link after I do this. So let me just read what I wrote about the news feed. The news feed icon, heart inside a comment bubble. Anytime someone likes one of your photos, follows you, comments on a photo, or tags you in a photo, you will be notified under the news tab. If someone actively likes, comments, or follows you while you're on Instagram, a small heart, comment bubble, or profile shape will appear just above your new tab. So basically, you have the home tab, you go down there, that's where your feed is. What your feed is, is everyone that you're following, you can see the pictures that they post, you go down to feed. And if you want to like a photo, you double tap on the photo, or you click the heart for, um, you know, to like the photo. Now... The next tab, maybe this phone will be better. Let me see. No, that's as bad as this one. 
I don't know. I don't know if it's the whatever it is, but it's just way too. It's to see when you're in the phone, but then once you go to Instagram. Okay, that's better. Oh yay! Okay, so LG's working. So this is the home, and this is the feed. You see. These are all the pictures of people that I follow, and they're posting pictures, and, you know, let's see. Okay. <laughs> so if I want to go here, tap her photo, or I can press the heart button to like it, okay? Okay. A lot of people want to know, what's all this hashtag business, okay? Hashtags. Hashtags are a way to find people, well, find photos that relate to you. Like, if you do um, hashtag transformation, you'll, or let's say if it's not hashtag transformation, you know what, let's do a hashtag. It's right here, is a search button, right? You press search. And... You can either search you can either search by username or hashtags. You can see my last search was do you yoga dot com because you know I'm doing that yoga challenge. So if I'm in here in the user profile and I'm gonna type in let's type in my name. Determined I'm like okay. Determine to satisfied okay so I typed in the top determined to set I didn't even write the whole thing and right there you can see my profile so you click on it and now you're in that person's profile I'm clicking my own profile so you see here how it says edit profile if it was someone else like let's say I'm gonna show you the girl that I talk about who helped me believe that I could do it Athena her um, Instagram name is MB Fit Support. So if you search in there MB Fit Support and click, you'll see her page. And on her page, you'll see everything that she posts. You know, she has a lot of inspirational posts, and she used to be big, and you know, she lost weight, and she's kept it off for quite some time. So you see how I'm. If I press. I'm going to unfollow her just to show you. Right here it says, this is her page, and I'm pressed the following, and now I'm following her. And it'll give you some recommended pages if you want to check them out to see if you're interested in following them. If not, you just stay on her page and you can see. Now, I showed you searching by the name, you can search hashtags. Now, if you look at my phone, it says hashtag flat abs challenge because I was searching that yesterday. So I'm just going to hashtag in here. Hashtag determined, you know, why not? To satisfy. Because that's a hashtag that I put around a lot of my pictures. So if you look at that, hashtag determined to satisfy. If you click on this hashtag, you can see all the pictures that I post that have that hashtag and anything else that anyone else would post with that hashtag so let's say another one is like the challenge I'm doing is um, the um, FBF challenge so I'm gonna put fuck F C K B I N G and if you look you see different hashtags you see fuck being fuck being fat so I'm gonna pick the fuck being fat and these are all the pictures that people on Instagram posted with that same hashtag so hashtag it brings everything into a category so even if you want to find like fit moms like you go to hashtag and you type in fit mom you don't want to you don't want to separate the word you want to put everything together because once you separate it it becomes more than one hashtag so if you look right here it says fit mom <coughs> there's fit mom, there's fit moms, there's fit mommy, fit mom inspire. 
So let's click Fit Mom Inspire because that's something new. That's something I haven't tried. So I'm clicking Fit Mom Inspire. Um, hold on, I'm getting a text message. Okay. Now these are all the posts that people on Instagram post with that hashtag Fit Mom Inspires. So the reason I like Instagram so much is because <coughs> you could find people and follow them and you guys all kind of have like the same goals. So um, even if you want like recipes, like I'll hashtag quinoa, right? Q U O N I. So hashtag quinoa. And the first picture is like 4,000 posts of different quinoa. And you can just go through the posts of all the pictures of people that post things of quinoa. And sometimes you'll find a recipe you'll like. Sometimes you'll find the benefits. You could put quinoa. I bet you can put quinoa benefits. Let's see. Um, let's try benefits of quinoa. 14 posts. And you'll find... Seven health benefits of quinoa. Rich in protein, contains iron, high in lysine, great source of magnesium, very high in fiber, gluten-free. It's like, you know, but you want to do your research. You find a picture, you read it, you're like, okay, and then you go on the computer and look at other things and confirm that. You don't want to just take everything you see straight from Instagram. You know, you can, I found this post says, quinoa citrus salad, yum. You know, that's a recipe right here in your hand. You just... Use the hashtags and to find what you want. I'm going to show you my five favorite. So I showed you um, her Miss MB Fit, but she also has a Miss MB Miss MB Fit tips for you. And if you go on that page, you'll find a whole bunch of different tips she posted. Okay. Um. My second would be plus, plus model weight loss. I've been following her since the beginning of my journey, and she always has different challenges. She's the one doing the challenge that I'm doing now, the one that's fight. What is it? Let's see. forgot. Um, fighting for me in 2015. This one. <coughs> She's um, um, plus model weight loss. She's, I let her like her challenges. It keeps me inspired. Um, oh, I'll show you the F being fat. So user is, their use, they change it. Their um, username is FBF Fitness instead of FCK. But the hashtag still. So this is, uh, this is her page. And she got a whole bunch of pics. And we got a stellar. Okay, she has a lot of motivational pay, um, posts. And you can check her, her other page out, the Sweat Tour page out. Um, yeah, that's about it. I feel like my five main. Okay, so that was searching. And now let's see this little icon in the middle, the camera button here. You can click it, and you can either take a picture... like that I'm gonna post it there's the picture these bottom buttons here are like filters so if you want to change like the, you can go you just go through them and you choose um, if you go in there you're like putting brighteners and stuff on it so you just pick whatever um, I chose Valencia and then you press OK this button here and then it goes here so I guess I'm gonna post a picture <laughs> um, now it says you can either send it to your followers where everyone sees it it goes on your your um, feed or you can send it in a direct message in a direct message this is when you're sending a picture to certain people and only those people see your pictures. It's not going to be on your regular profile feed. So, like, you can choose one person or you can choose to send it to three. You know? Um, for this purpose, since we're just doing a test, I'm just going to show you the regular one.
So it says write a caption. So that's a picture of me. So I'll put hashtag selfie. Um, so um, I was about to post that picture, but then I saw that I got tagged on Instagram for a stop, drop, and chug photo. So I retook my picture. Um, and it motivated me to go downstairs and get some water because I didn't have no water with me. This is my photo. Um, I made it black and white. And then I press the arrow, and I'll show you. So write in the comment. I'm going to write. I'm sorry. I got to check because I forgot who tagged me. My bad. Okay, so I'm going to say I was tagged by positive Lee T. For the hashtag stop, drop, and chug. <laughs> okay, so basically, about the hashtag. So right there, she tagged me to challenge stop, drop, and chug. So I'm hashtagging the stop, drop, and chug. So anyone else that participates in the challenge and uses that hashtag, when you when you click on that hashtag, which is a clickable link, you'll see all the pi pi pictures of the people in the challenge. Like in the um, FBF challenge that I'm participating in, our group is Team 25.4E. So we hashtag Team 25.4E, and any picture that has that hashtag will pop up and we can see what our other group members are tagging without having to go through your news feed and look for pictures. You just see a list of every of all the pictures. Um, our challenge with um, this week was doing the vision board. So it was hashtag FBF Dreams. So if you click the hashtag FBM Dreams, you're going to see all the vision boards that people posted um, that are participating in the same challenge as you. So that's the purpose of the hashtags is to categorize everything that you're looking for so you know you can find weight loss you can find I like I remember doing hashtag fighting for a hundred or hashtag a hundred pounds to lose and I found other people trying to lose a hundred pounds you know so things like that um, recipes I hashtag quinoa hashtag chili you'll see different chili find different recipes um, anything you like whatever you're thinking about like if you were gonna search it in Google you search it in Instagram with the hashtag and it comes up you know and that's how you'll find different profile range. So let me finish um, posting this to show you how to post it. So I said I was hash I was tagged by Positive T for the stop drop stop drop and chug um, challenge. Had to had to stop filming my YouTube video so I could. Run down. Sorry, guys. I'm slow. Run downstairs and get some water. Thanks for helping me get my water. And I am happy because I was slacking on my water, so it gave me a little push. So I said, I was tagged by Positive T for Stop, Drop, and Chug Challenge. Had to stop filming my YouTube videos so I could run downstairs and get some water, LOL. Thanks for helping me get my water in. Hashtag motivation because I feel motivated. Hashtag determined. I always um, hashtag determined to satisfy because that's my hashtag. And then, that's about it. Um, and then, I'm going to tag... I tag, I'm going to tag plus size weight loss model. I'm going to tag uh, my friend who's um, one less fat chick. And I'm going to tag too young not to be fit. And that's it. Okay. And you press the arrow button and it's posted. Um, oh, let me show you. You could also edit. So you see these three little dots right there. Let me see if I can make it a little brighter. 
Oh, too bright. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, you see these three little dots right here? If you click that, it says share, edit, delete, and copy URL. So you can click the edit button and it brings you back into your comment and you can change whatever you want to change. Where you see add location, if you click there, you see it'll bring up a list of the things in your area. I don't want to show it there because then it'll just show you everywhere that's here. So instead of in me, I'll just put home. And I'll add home just because I feel like it. Um, I didn't, and you can tag someone. Like if someone else was in the picture, you could tag your friend or whatever. And that's about it. And that's my comment. And that's it. It's that simple. And now let's go to your home page, which is this little person over here. And this is my profile. You'll see your your home page picture. The about section is where you could put your um, information. And you'll see the pictures I posted right here. You'll see my last picture. You can press it. Go press home again. And now you're, you see all the pictures that I've ever posted. I've been posting on Instagram since I started my journey. Like, if you go down, all the way down to my Instagram, you will see pictures from day one of me going to the gym. I did that the other day. I was reading old comments. That's why Instagram is good, too. Because you can, like, read old comments and you see what you were thinking a year ago. Like, and it's great. Like, just getting excited to getting to the 240s, getting excited. It's, it's. I love Instagram. Like, I'll be sad if my photos went somewhere. Um, so, up here it says edit your profile. And here is where you can pick your user. You have your username, your about section. It has, like, a limit on what you can put. Your email, your phone number. Um, you can change your password here. And, sorry guys. Um, you can make your post privates from right here. So, basically, I know a lot of people don't feel comfortable opening up an Instagram and having people all up in your business so what you could do is make your page private and the only person that's going to see any picture that you post is someone that you accept so let's say you made an Instagram um, page and you asked me to follow you and I'm following you and you and you let me follow you you would have to press yes she could follow me and I would see your pics if you don't let me follow you I'm not going to see your pics my page is public so anyone that wants to follow me can follow me I don't make it private I'm not going to lie, in the beginning of my journey, it was private, you know, and as time went on, I made it public. Um, even if you don't want to post any pictures, you don't have to post pictures. Just go on Instagram, um, open up your account, and search the hashtag, check out some of the pages that I told you about, um, f and start following them. You know, I, I showed you how to follow people, and you start following them, and you read them. Like, there's a lot of great quotes on there, there's a lot of stuff like that. Um... And then the last button is this little comment button with the hearts. That's where it shows you, like, your notifications. Like, all the people, like, this person liked you, this person started following you. Like, right here, that's how I saw I got tagged. Because um, if you go here, you see it. But sometimes, depending on the number of followers you have, like, if someone, um, you can miss notification because there's only a limit of how many notifications you get. So depending on how many notifications you get, by the time you look at your Instagram, you might not even notice that someone ta at, at you. So sometimes if you really want to, if you're posting a picture and you want someone to see it and they have a lot of followers, you're probably better off tagging the photo because they're not going to see it. They may not see it if you just um, at them. But I, I see mine. You know, I don't have that many followers. I have like um, 3,000. And I have like a, over a thousand pictures. You know, I've been posted for a minute. And here in my Instagram, you have a link to, you can click it, and it brings you to my um, website page. And I have some pictures from when I was a kid. I have um, blogs that I wrote. I was writing blogs from April of my journey um, and stuff like that. So I'm working on that. Um, but that's all. You know, I showed you, oh yeah, that I showed you me taking a picture. You can also choose to go to your galaxy, your gallery, I'm sorry, and select the picture, um, select the picture from your gallery. Like, okay, and then you have to move it to where you want to put it. That's Isaiah this morning playing my phone. And, 
and then you would press the same thing like if you wanted to if you wanted to upload it and then the filter now that's just pictures from Instagram there's also apps like pick post play and um what's my favorite one where photo grid and textagram but that's a whole nother video pick post play is where you can make collages and you can write on stuff no 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 you can't write on stuff of pic you can make videos and pictures at the same time in pick post play and photo grid you can just make collages of different photos if you guys are interested in knowing how to use photo grid and how to make collages and videos and blah 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 comment below tell me what you think about this video and then I'll make a video talking about photo grid and textagram and all those other apps um, I love to hashtag motivational quotes because I love quotes. I've always lived by the quotes and, you know, so that helps me out. This is what motivates me and I hope I can, I helped you understand a little bit more about Instagram. If you feel like you want to get to, I'm going to, I wrote down my notes, I'm going to get it in order and then I'll, I'll put it on the blog so you'll have it more, you know, or some people are just more visual reading it than just listening to me blab about Instagram. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if this video helped you. Um, I hope Instagram, the weight loss community, is something that you'll be interested. It really helped me out. There's some great quotes, great recipes, and, you know, it's just a great tool between Instagram, YouTube, and all that, and a lot of challenges. So I'll leave a link below of my blog post, of my favorite YouTube, um, Instagram pages. And if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Comment below. All right, bye. I probably said it like 15 times. Don't mind me.